Hey Saber fans, Tony here from Roan Sabers, and today another install review for you. If you're new to the channel, I do install, repair, and review these sabers, so please like, comment, and subscribe. I also have a website, RoanSabers.com, where you can find my finished products and sound fonts. So, if you're interested in that, definitely check out the link in the description below. So here we have, I know I'm going to pronounce this wrong, here we have a Saber Forge Bushido lightsaber. This is their type of uh, katana type lightsaber. Now, this saber is not terribly install friendly at all. You about have 7 8 inch of a blade um, on this bottom section, which is about 5 inches long. And then it gets even thinner on this upper section here. So it's not terribly install friendly. It took me a long time to kind of figure out a chassis system that kind of worked in this realm of things because um, the battery barely would fit in the upper section. And then if I wanted the board to be removable, then I wouldn't have much space for the battery. And all this other stuff um, were factors in doing it, as well as the button placement. Since this cuts about halfway through the hilt, I couldn't just do a chassis that was the full length and then have the buttons on the end. And so... Um, it was such a weird little challenge to, to make this saber and whatnot. Um, we did end up doing it. Uh, I ended up designing it. It took a while, but I finally designed kind of like a two-part chassis. Um, and so you do kind of not have access to the, the soundboard, but um, if you really needed to, you, you do have it. Um, so it has a removable uh, battery system. So you've got a 22 millimeter speaker um, from KR Sabers, and then we've got a removable battery system, power and negative, and then you've got a kill switch, which um, I ended up modifying this a bit to actually accept a kill switch so you could power it on and off. And you've got a rotary connector from Stock uh, Custom Works. And of course, you've got the other connector on there. You've got the two buttons, power, or power and aux, and then um, you've got the profit board system. Um, you actually have a system that's wired up to that PCB or rotary connector there, and actually can slide up enough to have board access as well as uh, stock access if you need to. So stock V3 connector, profit board on the inside, running of course Profi uh, OS 6.7, and all that fun stuff. So the customer here wanted very much like Star Wars visions, sound fonts, and he didn't want a lot of dialogue on there. Um, he did ask that the the Japanese dialogue be used if any, and so I used the Japanese dialogue for the font boot up sound for each sound font, um, and so like that. So, you want to turn the saber on, I did mark on the chassis which one was on and off, so you didn't get it confused, because it confused me a bit with it when it wasn't labeled. So just turn it on, and then you should be able to just plug it in, and then have it boot up. So the boot up sound, of course, will be English, just so you know it's different than the font so boot up sound. You want to screw on the pummel, and then it should create enough stuff. Start the saber. So, without further ado, let's put in a blade and show you off the fonts. Alright, so first up we have the Elder. This is part of the Vision sound fonts that Hyperphonic has released recently. Um, and so, yeah. It has an unstable buildup and then, of course, a hum flicker. It's very, very loud, um, <laughs> given that the speaker is a bit smaller than usual. The blaster is just hit aux. For lockup, just hold and clash. Do that with either or button. For lightning block, you want to hold power, tap aux. For color changing, it's the opposite, so hold aux, tap power. You get that notification. You can just rotate on the color wheel. To confirm, you want to hit power. To go back to the previous color, just hit aux. Oh, I hit confirm. <laughs> Once you hit aux, you can go back to the previous coded color. Now this has tons of uh, force effects for the fonts and stuff that have the, uh, the Japanese dialogue as the fonts. He didn't want fonts as the force effects, he just wanted the actual force effects. Of course this has gesture features, twist on and twist off. This has, uh, if you do want to do force effects and stuff, <clears throat> you can do power, hold for two seconds and let go. If you want to get into multi-blast, you want to hold the aux button for two seconds and let go. You can that multi blast begin sound and you swing your saber. To get out of it, tap once more, the guns are overheat. So, yeah. Next up. So, this is AM by Kyberphonic from the Twins uh, sound font. This is also from Visions. So, kind of an unstable blade style. Again, very loud. Clashes, of course. Next up. This is uh, Ronin from the uh, the Dual Bundle by Kyberphonic. All these names are going to get me. Got a nice slow ignition. Got an unstable swing. 
don't know how well you can see that on camera. Blasters. Force effects. And a very slow retraction as well. This is the Bandit, so the second half of the duel. This is, uh, of course, the same kind of blade style. So it has a uh, pilot light as the ignition, and this is the same kind of blade style. It has a hump flicker and an unstable blade. Those blasters are so cool. Next up. And now we go from the kind of Katana Visions fonts to standard fonts. So this is the second by Kyberphonics slash KSith. This is, of course, a Jedi Fallen Order Inquisitor styled blade. So it has the second blade style, or second sister blade style from Fetcher 63 with the pilot light. You can see a lot better here. For this saber, you want to clash the upper part of the saber to get clashes because the profi board is actually located at the top section of the lightsaber. Normally, you clash the pommel and stuff to get, uh, you know, clashes and stuff, but this, in this case, it just, um, t if enough force can just dis technically disconnect the battery from the connection. This has the, uh, track on there. Next up. This is Fire by Kyberphonic. Of course, this is a flame blade. It's really cool to think that the katana type lightsaber blade is on fire. This, of course, is responsive to the angle of the blade, so as you tilt down, the fire is going to want to come up. And then when you retract the saber, of course, it dissipates and runs up the blade. Next up. This is Unstable V2 by Kyberphonic. This is, of course, a Kylo Ren inspired. An unstable blade style. This is Darkness by Kyberphonic. This is kind of a Dark Ray inspired sound font. So, unstable blade without the buildup. Next up. You ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? This is the tragedy by Kyberphonic. Of course, it's a Plagueis inspired font. Has an unstable build up. And of course, smooth swing and whatnot. Quotes on here as well. Uh, force effects. Yeah. Next up. This is Savage Knight by Kyberphonic. This is a Savage font from Clone Wars. So a deep red. Next up. This is a font by K Sith. This is called Aggression. The customer wanted the Prion version on this saber. A really crazy blade style. Let's see if I can't get it better here. Very crazy. Yeah. Kind of blue blasters. Very cool. And you got a really long post off. But yeah, next up. This is Sieve by Grayscale Fonts. A very slow ignition. Bit of an unstable blade there, too. Very menacing. Of course, a very slow retraction as well. This was added last minute. The customer wanted a redux ignition, or ignition redux. Um, so this is a very crazy kind of uh, shattered crystal type of blade style. Erratic type of plate style there. Of course, you can bypass that prion with just gesture features. But yeah, next up. 
And of course, last but not least, you have your passive battery monitor, which fades from green to red, depending on the battery voltage, and of course, the party blade. So that concludes the install for the uh, Saber Forge Bushido lightsaber. Of course, I hope the customer enjoys it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day, and may the force be with you.